Hello everybody and welcome back to Children's Church. How many of you love getting an invitation to a friend's house? Whether it's a birthday party, a holiday, a sleepover or just a play date, it's always a treat when we get to go to our friend's houses. Speaking of friends, I want to do a short quiz. I'm going to give you the names of some popular characters and I want you to tell me who their best friend is. The answers will appear on the screen, so let's see how many you can get right. Batman, Snoopy, Spongebob, Woody. There's no doubt that these are all best friends. They do things together, go on adventures together, and they always have each other's backs. But there's no question that their friendships are also tested. But every time that happens, these best friends pull together and help each other out. Because why? Because that's what friends are for. One thing about the BFFs we all mentioned they all made their best friends feel welcome. When Snoopy was just a puppy, Charlie Brown welcomed him into his house. When Robin lost his whole family to an accident, Batman welcomed him into his home. Best friends welcome each other in because they're glad to have each other's company and they love to have each other around. That's one of the reasons Jesus stayed at the home of his good friends Mary, Martha and Lazarus. Anytime he was in town. We can find this in Luke chapter 10 verse 38. If you have your Bible, read along with me. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha had opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he said. Mary and Martha weren't listed as one of Jesus' disciples. And as far as we know, they didn't travel anywhere together. But any time Jesus was in town, he knew he had a place to go. Because good friends are good hosts. They make their friends feel welcome. God wants us to be great friends by making everyone feel welcome when they are with us. Being a welcoming friend means that we are kind and friendly to everyone. When a new child joins the class, we welcome them. When someone we didn't pick ends up on our team, we treat them with respect. When we get paired with a friend or with someone we barely know on an assignment, we treat them both with kindness. Jesus said that if we love him, we will love our neighbor. Our neighbor includes the people on the street, the kids in your class, and everyone we encounter. It's up to us to make everyone feel welcome and show them the love of Jesus. As followers of Jesus, we want everyone to feel welcome, whether it's at church or just hanging around on the playground. We want people to feel comfortable being themselves and sharing what's on their hearts and their minds. When we welcome people, Jesus can use us to show his love. Our welcoming hearts can show our friends that Jesus loves them too. When we're the kind of friends who welcome everyone, we can become the friend who introduces our friends to the best friend they may ever have, and that's Jesus. Jesus had some great friends who always made him feel welcome. Let's ask Jesus to be those kind of friends. Let's ask him to help us to be welcoming and friendly to everyone we meet and show them his love. Let's pray and worship our friend Jesus. Dear God, thank you for friends. Remind us to be good friends to others and to be caring and welcoming to the people that we meet. Help us to show the love of Jesus to those we encounter. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
of the one called Savior? Have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. Show me your Nothing.